Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. So in this video, we will learn about the new concept that is navigation guards. As the name suggests, this navigation guards provided by view router are primarily used to guard the navigation either by redirecting it or cancelling it. So there are a number of ways where we can hook the into the route navigation process. So there are mainly three types of process by which uh, navigation guard can be applied. One is through globally, another one is per route and an another one is in component. So these are the three places where we can route the, where we can navigate, uh, guard the navigation. So first one is the globally, we will try to see global navigation guards, how it will be. So the first navigation guard, which we need to discuss is the before each global before guard. That is, we can use it using the before each. So this one, what this, what does this will do is global before guards are called in creation order whenever a navigation is triggered. So here, what I what I will try to do is whenever we are routing from one place to another before navigating, so this before each global before each will be triggered. So this will be triggered in all the cases in all the route navigation. Whenever you are moving from one navigation to another navigation, so this will be triggered. How we can access this one is so here I will try to do. This one after creating the router, router dot before each. As this one is a global thing, so this one will trigger every time when you are moving from one navigation rotation to another one. So this guard primarily takes two arguments. Actually, it will take three arguments, but primarily it will take two arguments. So one is two, so from where it is going, and another one is from from where from where it is going, and another one is two to where it is going. So these are the two primary guards. Uh, two primary arguments for this before each. Now I will try to do console.log2 and also the console.log of from so that we can see what is this one. So if I try to do it, right. And now if I see here, if I try to press, yeah, here. Yeah. Now I am moving from articles to the home page. So that means two is slash, which is a home page, and from is then. Articles. Now, if I click right click here, see it is going to to slash path. So it is a home page and it is coming from articles. So this is the articles. Now, here name, post, and everything, whatever the data it is related. So we are able to get the data. So we are having two things and optionally, so <clears throat> we can return any of the value. For example, let's say that. So when you are not returning anything, so it, the routing will consider that it has okay and it will navigate it. So where if you don't want to navigate means you need to return false. So when you return false, so the it will cancel the current navigation. If the browser URL was changed either manually by the user or by a back button. It will be reset to the top of the from root. Now if I try to go to about, then also it will be in the home page only. Why? Because so now here slash post. If I try to do slash post here, it will go to the home page only. So why it is happening like that is we have written the false. So when you are returning false means it will cancel the current navigation or otherwise if you are returning any undefined or true or nothing. So if you are returning anything, in a, if you are if you are not writing anything, if you return empty, true or nothing. So if it doesn't return anything also, but then the navigation, it will think that the navigation is validated and the next navigation guard will be called. So if you are having multiple navigation guard means it will be called. So that is the process how it will be. So this is all about the global for each God. Okay. I will try to show you one example so that you can be able to understand. For example, let's say that before navigating from one row to navigating. So I want to check that whether this one is has a valid or not. Let's say think of it as an authenticated thing. So you can check that for example, let's say that constant auth access or anything. I will be having one thing. So this one, what I can say is let's say this one is a function. Okay, auth access and this one will take the two. So now I want to allow only only the articles to be moved. So this post page only I need to access it. So home about and all those things I don't want to access it. Then what I will try to do is auth access is there, right? So I will return the promise so that it will take some time, right? So we can return a promise. We will return a promise and this promise will have resolve and reject. You already know about this one all. So now here I will do a set timeout. Okay. Now set timeout. So this one will take a function. So I will take some two seconds or something like this. Now here I will check if two dot path dot includes. 
particles then i need to know it or otherwise and also so for example let's say if two dot path includes particles then i need to know it so then i will resolve of true okay or else i will resolve of false that's it. so this is the thing which i want to tell you what it is happening here so resolve and reject expected what is this one is expected this one or what let's see what could be the problem here what did i have created function axis of two okay return new promise resolve and reject so we'll be having this one and here also it'll be having what could be the issue let's remove this one on second is the issue coming here all issue are coming okay okay here dot not dot here it's a reject okay so now i am returning a i am creating a function and this takes the two arguments resolve and reject so when it is an articles then i need to pass test so that means i am allowing only one path that is articles now here let's take it as and i will be using async okay and here i will write something like hmm, constant as axis equal to the weight of auth box auth axis and i will pass the two here and if it does not have axis okay i will return i will return something like uh, what we can say is we can move we can move to the another location also so if i if i want to navigate to another location so i can say something like uh, path not found not found I, I will target to i will move it to not found otherwise normally we will mark uh, navigate to login so we can also pass like this written false or written true i will show you so this one and what i can say is or otherwise i will return true so that it will navigate to the original location so now if it is not found is there means so now okay fine let's see the output i will show you so if i go to the home okay nothing is working about let's wait so nothing is working right if i go to the post here so maybe this should work so here let's see let's refresh this page yeah and i will click on the articles whether it is working or not so let's see i am accessing this one let's have a console now let's see whether we are able to have an access or not okay we are having accessing okay see it is going into an infinite loop why it is going into an infinite loop is so it is going to slash not found again root root before each is called so again this one is happening like this so we can what we can do is we can add a something like two dot path dot includes not found so we can also use something like not found so this one or this one anything okay now if you see the output maybe hopefully this one needs this one will work i think so here let's say page not found we are able to get the page not found if i go to the post so maybe we will be able to get the articles see we are able to get the articles this is happening only through the navigation thing so what we have did it here so every time when you are navigating from one navigation to another navigation we are checking at whether we have an access or not only the auth access you what it will be having is only for the articles and also only for the not found not found means normally so we are returning it to the not found now when we are re resolving it true true means so it will go to return true return true means it will navigate it or otherwise it will redirect to some other place so like this you will be having okay so now so this is how we will be having so now whenever i go to the home articles so it will work when i go to the home page so it will wait for some time until the promise is resolved and it needs to move it will move to the not found page not found so this is how we will be checking the uh, what i can say uh, before each method so not only this before each what i can say is so i have told you right so we can if you return true so it will navigate to the another location for example if you want to redirect to some other place means directly you can give something like uh, path to slash home or slash like this you can send it so like this in both ways you can do it and apart from this one so in the before each navigation god only what i want to tell is so this one uh, and the th optional third argument is also has been uh, has been there from since a long time but uh, uh, request for comments are coming to remove this next thing 
So what is the use of this next thing is when you are mentioning this next instead of returning this one. So you need to pass next of true. Okay. So then if you pass the next of true, then only it will be passed. So then only it will be going to the other places. Okay. It will go to the other places or otherwise if you are passing next of false means. So then it will, it will go, it will not go to anywhere. So it will be staying like that only something like return of false. Now another thing what you need to remember is so for example, let's say that. So here in the next right. So in here, uh, let's say we are having something like uh, previously we have the axis thing, right? Where is that one is gone? Let's press control. Yeah. So now you are having auth axis, written path, not found. These are all things you are having, right? So you can have a next also. Then this time you need to pass compulsorily. You need to pass the next. If you don't pass the next, this one will not work. So here what you can do. So here I can write something like uh, next of. So in this one you can also pass the routing also to which one you need to have or otherwise you can use the router link or a programmatic navigation like path is equal to not like this also you can use it so in any way any way you can call it. or otherwise so if you have here next so then so pass the next of true or otherwise next also you can do it so you should not do it like this so why because so two times we are calling the next if it doesn't have any axis then not found next is calling and again the next is calling for example let's say that i will show you here I am in the home page. Okay, let's click on the number. Okay. See, we here we got a warning that the next callback has been called more than once. Then what we need to do here? So instead of having this one, so we need to call something like else spot. Okay, else next of true. So you need to call else of next of true. If it is there, we are making like this. So we need to make in a such a situation that only one time only the next should be called. So we should not call the next multiple times. Now this is also correct. So if you go to the board, not found, and if you go to the articles, the articles will work. So like this, the globally before each will be implemented. I hope you understood about this before each and all the things. Now I'll be committing this all the code in a new branch video hyphen 62. So here, this is the global for each navigation guard global before each before each God. I will commit this code. So you can check this code in the GitHub link. So whenever you have a doubts or anything, so you can refer to this code, which is present in the viewed composition router. I have provided this link in the description below. So you can take a look at this one. So whenever you want to refer the code and all those things, so you can go to that particular branch or particular video, which I have, which you are trying to see, and you can refer the code from there. So this is how, um, actually the global before each, uh, concept and all those things work. If you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you